All right, bacon's in the car. Now let's go head up north. Just got up to the cottage. Now let's head down to the lake and get this bacon sear video going. Hey, you got barbecue and bottles here. And today in this video, we're gonna be searing the homemade bacon that we made in last week's video. And we're gonna do a taste test to see whether we liked the thyme cure or whether we like the rosemary cure better. So we've got this fire pit here. We're gonna get this set up. We're doing this by the lake. It's gonna be a lovely morning, fresh homemade bacon. Now, let me show you around here a little bit, just so you can see where we're grilling. get this fire going we've just bundled up a little bit of newspaper here and put some small kindling some dry wood just down on top trying to make a bit of a teepee here at the end just like that. All right, now that we've got the kindling going, we're gonna toss on a few rocks. <laughs> So that kindling actually caught fire in about 60 seconds, so we didn't have time to go slice up the bacon. But now that we've got the main logs on, let's go slice up the bacon and we'll come back down and check on this in about 15 minutes. All right, so we're gonna slice up some bacon this morning. And this bacon's from that video that we made homemade bacon, where we've got rosemary and we've got some thyme bacon here. And before we throw this onto the open fire in the cast iron we're just going to slice up a bunch of this bacon we found when you're giving bacon as a gift to some of your friends some people appreciate the full slab those are for the bacon monsters who are really going to chew up a ton of bacon and blow through that in a single setting but most people prefer to have it sliced up you give them you know a couple dozen slices and they can just pull that out of the freezer whenever they're ready to, to eat it so here, as you'd expect, we're just going to carve off the end. And these ends just have an incredible amount of flavor. And what I love doing with the ends is if you just cube them into little pieces like this, And then whenever you start up your pan, I always put these in at the start. They've got a ton of fat on them. They'll season the pan up really nicely, get it all greased up. But also, they've got the most smoke and cure flavor from them, given you've got three edges here and that have been taking in all that flavor. So this is a great way you cook these up, you pass them around while people are waiting for breakfast or whatever you're cooking it for and it really builds the anticipation for homemade bacon. Feel free to slice this however thick you want. We go a little bit thicker than the regular store-bought bacon. As you'd imagine, it just, um, A, it saves you some time on slicing, but 
I also just prefer a little bit thicker bacon. <laughs> now, if you like this video, make sure you give us a like below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We're all about doing detailed instructional recipes on how to make great barbecue. So if you like that kind of thing, if you're into that kind of thing, make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future recipes. So we're gonna cube this end off again, make some more of those bacon niblets. Just look how incredibly meaty this homemade bacon is. That's what's the other, another thing that's so great about making it yourself, is you really get to control the amount of fat that you leave on your bacon. And if you like your bacon really meaty, There we go. Now we're gonna start into the next one. Again, just look at that. The color that we got off of this bacon smoke, incredible. folks now we're gonna grab some of the rosemary and some of the thyme bacon we're gonna go down to the fire see if our cast iron pans hot enough to dump these guys in all right the fire is raging so what we're gonna want to do is just flatten this out make a nice flat surface for the cast iron pan to sit on so make sure you use a poker for this when you're not using your hands <laughs> even if you do have asbestos hands or even if you have one of those dragon gloves you really gonna want a poker to give you some distance here the heat coming off of this is absolutely incredible all right so that looks about right for us now we're gonna drop our cast iron pan on this just like that so we've got that heating up to temp what we've got here is a little temp gun and when you hit it you can get a temp reading of whatever you're pointing at so you can see the surface of the frying pan right now is about 64 degrees Celsius let's change this to Fahrenheit so we're at about 160 70 90 all right this is heating up quickly so we're gonna wait until this gets to about four to five hundred degrees and then we're gonna put the bacon on there this thing's been heating up fast you can see we're at about 460 470 degrees right in the middle of the pan so now we're gonna add some of the bacon cubes that we sliced up off there just to make sure we get some fat that renders down coats the bottom of the pan so we're putting on some of the good fatty chunks here this piece in here it's a little fatty as well and at this temp the bacon's gonna cook up really quickly so you want to keep your eye on it you don't ever want to turn away from this you're gonna be tending to the bacon almost non-stop now if you've got an oven mitt I'd suggest you also use one of these the heat coming off this fire is incredible and if you're just using some tweezers here or pinchers just to move your bacon around even if you're not touching the cast iron the heat's pretty intense move that fat all around and you'll see this is another important point is you're trying to keep that pan as level as possible. You don't want all the grease tipping to one side. 
you want to keep it flat so that you've got that grease over the entire bottom surface of the pan. So now we're just going to remove these pieces that we've got enough fat that's rendered down here. Perfect. So you'll remember we cured up both rosemary and thyme homemade bacon. And so we're going to try a couple strips of each and we're going to do a taste test and we'll let you know which one of these we liked better. They were literally the identical cures with the exception of one that we used rosemary and one that we used um, thyme on. So we'll see which brings the better flavor. So you're going to want to pay attention to this. Make sure you're flipping it fairly often. We're cooking over exceptionally high heat. So you want to make sure that the maple syrup, the brown sugar that was in this recipe isn't going to be burning. All right, that is finished. So we're just going to remove this, put it onto a plate with some paper towel. We're gonna move our pan over here. Now we're gonna put out this fire just by tossing a bucket of water on it. Make sure we're not creating a fire hazard. And we're gonna let the bacon rest for about five minutes. Then we're gonna do our taste test. So we've had this bacon resting for a bit just so it cools down. And we've got some of the rosemary bacon here, and we've got some of the thyme bacon. Now, at this stage, the only difference that you can see between the two is that we've, we've just picked these pieces from different parts of the belly. But otherwise, visually, there's no difference between the two brines as, or cures, as you might imagine. So we're gonna slice into this, and now give it the taste test. So first the rosemary. Mmm. The saltiness of the cure, the maple syrup, the brown sugar. Just a hint of rosemary. You can taste the extra smokiness from grilling this or searing this over a live fire. And the hickory smoke that we used on the trigger. This is unreal. All right. So now we're going to try the thyme. Mm. In my mind, this is the no competition competition. That thyme beats rosemary, hands down. It's a far stronger flavor. You get those herbal aromatics into your bacon. Absolutely incredible. So there you have it, folks. We've done the bacon taste test. We've done identical cures. The only difference between these two was rosemary versus thyme. If you like this video, give us a like below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We release new videos every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern. Thanks for tuning in.